Let the children come forward for children's time. Ah, how are you doing? I hope that uh, you're kind of getting used to this or uh, you're getting better at it. Um, I'm certainly trying to. I don't like it, but you know, um, we're doing this because it's important. We're staying separated because it's important to do. And, and it's going to be a while. So listen to your mom and dad when they say, you know, hey, we can't go and out like we used to. We can't go and be with people like we used to. And, you know, that means that we, we really miss being with our friends. Maybe you used to have, uh, you know, your friends over, some of your uh, cousins or family members that would come over and y'all would be together more often and go and visit during the summertime maybe. And maybe those are things that are being canceled. Our family was supposed to have a family reunion. People from all over the United States were gonna come in and I'm afraid we're gonna have to cancel that and that means we're gonna miss being together. I miss us being together, do you? Well, I've got something for you. I told you that we were gonna make something and get it ready, so <clears throat> we've got a bag and it's filling up here. You can see I've got some stuff in it. I'm gonna add even more. And of course, I will add for you some candy. But what I want you to do is I want you to be the first to call me and let, let me know that you're, you're ready for it. We're going to deliver on Thursday of this week. So when you see this uh, uh, video uh, on Sunday, uh, it'll be Thursday after that that we will go and deliver out. So we'll probably honk the horn and leave it out on the, uh, you know, the driveway or near, near your house. And so you can come and get it and we can wave at each other when you, when, uh, you hear the, honk, uh, the horn honking. But I want to tell you a story. There's a story in uh, the Gospel of John about a man named Thomas. And Thomas missed a meeting. Have you ever missed something that was important? Maybe you missed it because you were sick. Maybe because you missed it because you were in trouble like I was sometimes. Or maybe you missed it because you didn't think it was going to be that big a deal. But you missed it. You didn't get to go. Um, maybe it was a party. Maybe it was a gathering of school friends that were having a slumber party or something. And you didn't get to go. And, and they missed you. You know, I miss you being here. And when we miss being together, we both kind of lose something. That's why we call the church the body of Christ. In other words, that when we get together, we represent the hands and feet of Jesus. Now, I know that's kind of a hard concept, to something to think about, but that's why it's important that we get together. One day we will, and we'll get together real soon. And Thomas missed this meeting, and he missed it, and it was important, and, and uh, it was like him missing church on that first Easter evening, but he made the next one, and that made all the difference in the world for him. So I hope that uh, you'll never want to miss church, but when you do miss church, coming to worship together, know that you miss something, but also the people that were here miss you. Well, I'm here, and I know you can't be here, but I miss you. And I hope that you look forward to the time that we get to get together again. Because that's be the opportunity that we can share God's love to each other. I miss you, and I love you. And I look forward to giving you this bag of gifts that you share with your mom. And y'all do these projects together for Mother's Day. And uh, I hope that you'll have enough of that candy that I hope that you'll share that with others. Let's pray. God, we thank you for a love that helps us to stay together. And even when we cannot be together, it's your love that reminds us the importance that we're together anyway. We're together and thinking about each other and uh, knowing that our hearts are connected even when we're not in the same room. God bless our children and bless our church family. 
In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you. Until next time.